This video will be an overview of how to use Micromedics. Micromedics is an evidence-based database of comprehensive drug information created by health professionals. After you finish this video, you should know how to perform a basic drug information search, check drug combinations using the IV compatibility tool, and how to check for drug interactions, including allergies. To access Micromedics, you will want to go to the Biomedical Library homepage and click on Library Resources in the left-hand menu, then select Databases and Resources. This will take you to a page of all the Biomedical Library databases with descriptions. Click on M and then scroll down to Micromedics. Remember, if you're off campus, you'll be prompted for your J number and password. Before we start searching, I just want to point out the Download Center link in the upper right of the screen. The Download Center is where you can find instructions for downloading Micromedics apps for your mobile devices. This will also give you passwords for each one of those Micromedics apps so that they will know that you're accessing the database through our institutional subscription. Each year, your app will prompt you to return to the site to the Download Center for a new password so that you can show that you're still affiliated with our institution. Okay, when you're ready to search, you'll see that there's a search box in the middle of the screen. The default search is through drug information, disease information, and toxicology information. For this demonstration, I'll limit to drug information. You can type in a generic or brand name of a medication. If you do not know how to spell the drug name, just type as much as you do know and you'll see the database will start suggesting names to you. For this example, if we type in acetaminophen, I can click on that and I'll be taken to a drug summary information document. So once I'm in this document, you'll see at the top of the page, drug classes, and if I click on these, I'll be shown other drugs in this class. It will also show me routes. I'll have tabs for quick answers, in-depth answers, and all results. All results will show you the toxicology information and the disease information that we cut out from our original search. On the left-hand side, you'll see that there's a menu, and this starts with dosing administration information. If you click on a topic area like adult dosing, you'll see at the end of each line of information there's a number. If you click on that number, this will show you the source of this information. So this may be product information or it may be a citation for a study. If you click on in-depth answers, this is going to give you more detailed information about that topic. If you click on FDA uses or non-FDA uses, you'll see that there's a little icon at the end of each use, and this gives you more information about the FDA approval. So it will also give you the strength of the recommendation and the strength of evidence. Right under dosing administration is the medication safety part of the menu. And you'll see that under this, there are drug interactions and IV compatibility. If I click drug interactions, this will give me a list of known drug interactions with my medication or my drug. If I click on the name, it will give me more details about that interaction. It will also give me a severity rating. And it gives me a documentation rating. The documentation rating shows the strength of evidence that supports the claim that this interaction may happen. You'll also see foods, if there are any foods that interact or decrease absorption any allergies, any kind of lab interactions, um, interactions with pregnancy or lactation. If I go back to the menu and I click on 
not IV compatibility. This shows common solutions that are compatible with my drug. And if I click the name, that's going to give me more details. If it has the green check mark, then it is compatible. It'll give me a list of solutions that have not been tested. And then it gives me tabs with other methods so that I can get that information quickly. You'll see over on the left hand menu, there is also a section for mechanism of action, for pharmacokinetics, for patient education, for toxicology, and then general information um, about my drug, like how it's applied, stored, trade names, and regulatory status. Now, when you want to search for multiple drug interactions, you're going to want to use the Drug Interactions tool, and it's located up on the top menu bar. So this can be used to search for interactions with other drugs and also with patient allergies. So in this example, if my patient is already taking allopurinol, I'll start typing that in and it'll give me a suggested name list and I'll just click the arrow to move it over to drugs to check. If I want to see if it's safe for them to take captopril with the medication they're already on, I'll move that over and amoxicillin is an antibiotic that they're potentially going to be prescribed. So I have all three of these in the box, and then I can click the button to add any allergies that the patient has identified. So in this case, if they are allergic to penicillin, I can select that put it in the allergies to check box with the arrow, click update, and now the allergies and the drugs to check are under the drugs to check box. I can click submit, and then I'll be given a list of the interactions. So again, I can click on the names to get interaction details. I'll be given a severity rating, a documentation rating, and then a summary of the interaction. And so this still includes the drug interactions, allergy interactions, any kind of food interactions or lab effects, um, interactions with pregnancy or lactation. Micromedics also provides an IV compatibility tool so that you can search for up to 20 drug combinations at a time. Um, in this example, if I need to search for partisan, just like with the drug interactions, I just type in the name. When it pops up a matching drug name, I use the arrow to move it over to drugs to check. I'm going to put in vancomycin. And then morphine sulfate. So now I have all three of these under my drugs to check box. I'm going to click submit and it's going to bring up a list that tells me whether or not these are compatible. So if I click on the names, it's going to give me more information or more details about the compatibility. Uh, there are tabs for the different methods. Over on the side, it lists out the drugs and I can remove the checkbox if I want to remove these. I can click modify selections if I want to add more into this. And if I click this little icon, I'll receive more information about that drug or that medication. And if I need to print this out, there is a little print button up here right over the icon this is just a basic overview of how to use micromedics. If you have questions, remember on the biomedical library page, you can ask a librarian. Um, you can also, that gives you information about how to chat with us, call us on the phone or email us or come by. You can also go under about the library to the directory 
and that gives you our contact information. And my name is Adrienne McFall, and this gives you my phone number and email address, and 